We are on. All right, great. So uh, welcome everyone to this first meeting of the CIP committee for um, this coming calendar year 23. And um, before we really get started here, I thought maybe we could just go around the table and each introduce ourselves. We could start with Michelle. Um, I know you just said. Oh, I mean, just David Lewis Drive. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah, not, okay. yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> CIP committee member. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Joe Tom, uh, Eleven Ada Drive, uh, CIP member. Yeah. So Paul first, um, Chesley Hill Road, CIP member. Member. Uh, Pete Chabot, Forty Two Mossfield Way, CIP member. Uh, Jerry Douglas, Town Manager. Great, thank you. Um, so I was gonna talk just a little bit about, usually at the first meeting, I do just a really brief intro about what this process is about um, for you know others who might be listening. And so I don't think that's really necessary today, but since we do have a new member, it might be helpful just to give you some sense, Pete, of uh, how this process is structured. And I will say that there is a, a policy on the website, and the policy has quite a bit of detail in it about the process. And so if you ever have any questions about how things you know, are supposed to be set up or ordered, it's great to refer back to the policy. But basically, um, the uh, capital improvement program it helps us plan for future expenditures for you know things like for capital items things like uh, a building improvement or the purchase of a vehicle those types of things so you know it helps us plan and it helps us uh, vet the applications and the requests to make sure that we're making the most efficient use of our money and um, here's how it works uh, it starts with each year the department heads update annually their equipment replacement schedules. And you'll find that um, in that spreadsheet that we sent out. And I think that, um, you know, we'll get more into the, probably the replacement schedules if we meet with the individual department heads, but I'm sure we'll be looking at that briefly at least tonight with Jerry. And so they, they update those each year and then based on the schedules the manager puts together a five-year plan a proposed five-year plan and um then the department heads also this kind of all happens at once they submit their applications for the capital expenditures that they're proposing for the coming calendar year so you know there's this they update the schedule the five-year plan's done and the department heads also submit applications for the coming year. You know, this is what I want to spend money on this year. Um, so all of this, that whole package goes to the Board of Selectmen just for an initial review so they can look at those schedules and they can say, um, oh, yeah, uh -huh, okay, I see. And they can ask the department heads questions or the manager questions about why they feel they need this or that. Um, and then it goes to the CIP, the whole package goes to the CIP committee. And we review the materials in more depth than the selectmen do initially. They take kind of a broad brush. We review it in more depth. And we then um, ask any questions we have of the department heads. And then we go through and we rank, we individually, each of us go off separately at usually after the second meeting and we rank the projects we score them um, according to criteria a set of criteria that are in the in the policy and so we fill out one of these scoring sheets for each project and then um, in the past Michelle has very kindly collated those scores and you know basically adds them all up and develops those scores into a, the, a ranking so um, adds all the scores together for each project and then based on the scores ranks the projects so we have a ranking of the you know it's usually five to ten projects each year we come back 
we meet one final time to review those rankings together, just to make sure we're all on the same page and that there were no surprises. The things came out pretty much as we expected them to. And then our recommendation goes to uh, the Board of Selectmen. And the intent is that basically during the budget process that the budget committee and the selectmen that they go through and they do their operations budget and then they look at you know where are we this year in terms of operations are we looking at a you know 10 percent increase based on last year are we looking you know and also where does revenue stand so um, they look at those things and they evaluate well where are we and um, okay, we're looking at a five or ten percent increase, even without capital. Now let's look at capital. You know, how far down the list do we think we want to go in terms of items that we want to place on the warrant? Um, and so, basically, this process gives us an opportunity to really vet the projects and to make sure that. You know the material that goes on get gets to the warrant, and that the voters vote on, are are real needs rather than, for example, wants, um, and that we're spending our money, you know, as efficiently as possible. Um, and I'll just I'll give uh, Joe and Michelle an opportunity to you know add in to that if, to add to that if you like. Yeah, it's, it's been it's it's been interesting. I mean, I think we, we, we evolved from our first year. The uh, the actually the rating and ranking um, has been interesting um, as we as we progress because we all got a more better feeling for making sure if you do it all independently, you end up with different numbers all over the place. And my numbers are way out of, out of whack with these guys, but uh, but it's been interesting to watch. You you, you pretty much fall. Um, what, what we found is you fall kind of where where the um, where where your gut check and then where you fall is usually about the same. It's kind of interesting the way it all works out mm -hmm. in the end. But it does prevent um, like the budget committee from or the select board from actually having to make do all this later in the process and that was part of the reasoning for doing this yeah. early early was, was to pull this all ahead of time have an independent group look at it what are the big questions yeah. that can be answered you know get yeah. uh, we'd interview the, the department heads as needed on, on the subject we had them an opportunity to, to, to lay their case out for why they wanted something or not and then um, and that saves the select board and also like they keep doing that work while they're trying to get the budget together so it, it, it's been, I think it's been rewarding. We've been doing it for three weeks or four years. Three to this is the fourth, fourth or fourth yeah. year. Yeah. No, so it, it, it's been interesting. I think we've done, yeah. done a good job of streamlining it. Yeah. I don't think I have anything to add. I think you both covered it really well. The only thing, since I pull it all together, I still find it kind of interesting when I, because I'll put all the information in and then you know, it all set up so it's flowing and look at the summary sheet and it's like, oh, okay, it did actually. It makes right sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it makes magic. sense. With, with, our, yeah. with our commentary for each one, sometimes we have the same comments, sometimes they're different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, from my perspective, what's really important is making sure that what's, you know, what goes on the, the warrant, the choices that the selectmen have, for example, for putting things on the warrant, that they're really well vetted and thought out so that it's not the case of you know big projects coming at the last minute right um where there are real questions about do we need this or not and the selectmen not know and having to make the decision well let's just let the townspeople decide if town meeting right and, and, and there hasn't been a lot of debate over these actual subjects that i've seen over yeah. the last couple of years at town meetings and the good thing also about that is by the time you get to town meeting, the department heads have the answers right. to all the questions. Exactly, because, we because them we've already them. asked them. <laughs> right. Yeah, very true. So, yeah. so if anything comes up, it's just yeah. the answer is there, it's been there, all the work. Because a lot of these things well. are things that they really need. Yeah. And, you know, it's important for them also to be, you know, for them to be prepared and, and for, for them to pass. 
forcing the, forcing the overall 10-year plan has been fabulous because then there isn't any question as well that that was on there, it's been on there, it's what they projected they would need. It might shift a little because you might have a little wiggle room, you know, year to year. Um, but it's, it, it, again, it's, it's, it's open kimono and it's not just somebody wanted a truck next week and they put it on the warrant, which is, I think, sometimes what's happened in the way past. All of a sudden, a truck shows up there and a truck or whatever. <laughs> Those are the big ticket items that always get, right. you know, debated or, you know, like, um, All right. So, Jerry. Yes. With that introduction given, um, I want to say thank you, first of all, uh, for doing a great job of pulling these materials mm -hmm. together into a very professional package. Yeah, it was very nice. I thought it was very good. Yeah. And um, it's really, it's not always about um, presenting more, but it's presenting it in you know, in a, uh, a form that's easily digestible. And I think you, you did a, a nice job with that. And also thank you to the department heads for all of their work so far. You know, we're just starting with this, but you guys have already been working on this for a couple months. Mm -hmm. So thank you. You're welcome. Um, would you be willing to give us an introduction to the materials that you've provided? Sure. And I'll let you decide where you'd like to start. If you'd like to start, I'd say we leave the applications for later, but that we start with either the schedules or the five-year plan, wherever you'd like to start. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, first of all, I just want to uh, thank you all. This is my first committee meeting uh, as the, the town manager, and, and, uh, and I'd like to thank you all, and I'd like to thank the, the residents for allowing me to be the town manager. This is a, really exciting time and, and coming into a position like this where there's a process in place you really fully don't understand the process until you come to the meetings and you talk to the people that have been involved with the process to fully grasp what we're really trying to accomplish so this is an exciting meeting for me and i'm looking forward to more and even with the budget com budget committee because that's that's where it all happens and i'm really impressed with that we actually have a capital improvement committee to vet these projects. I think that's just super, um, and, and glad to be glad to be part of it. So, and I thank you for your patience because it, it it's it is a little bit difficult to decipher this when you're sitting in the office trying to trying to figure it all out where you've been. I even went back and watched videos of last year's meetings just to kind of get an idea of what I was what you know what the what the process was so i'm excited to to learn the process and because i kind of to be honest with you i kind of feel like i've been smoldering a little bit but once we go through this process a little bit i'm sure by next year we'll, uh, i'll be cooking with gas then so um, so but so thank you for your patience so what i provided for you and i you know, and understand it's a little bit i think of a deviation from what you what you've got in the past because keep in mind coming in as a town manager i i follow i, I followed two the the previous one in her work which was good in, in spreadsheets and then there was another one with spreadsheets and i was trying to pull it all together and figure out what you all kind of discussed last year and, and how it all worked um and, and and trying to make sense of it and i i think i'm there but I'm going to be there even closer uh, when we talk about this and I hear you folks talk about this and, and really what you need. So I want to talk about the, the deviations first because I think that's important because I learned that in the previous years, what you got for information in your five-year plan, all of the departments co-mingled in, in a year 23, in a year 24, in a year 25. And I can bring I can bring it up on the screen here to kind of show you what I did. Good, bad, or indifferent, but I did it by department. I'm just so used to managing things by department that what I did is I, I put the 23s in the five-year plan for each each department. 
which I think is a little bit different than what you got in the past. Yeah. Okay. I, I and I'm looking for feedback on if you think this is easier, better, or if, you, if you'd rather go back to the same as you had in the past. Um, in the, in the five-year plan, and what I did here, and I didn't even know if I was even really supposed to do this amount, but up here you'll see the reserve balance, and these reserve balances in the bold is what I know to be true today, to be accurate, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so we start out with that balance, and if Public Works is asking for a, uh, a $50,000, the red is an expenditure, and that brings that balance over here down to, to 116 and that's that's how this sheet works so everything red is in an expenditure um, and then everything here is the balance after that expenditure okay and this is the 23 over here in this column the FY23 is what he's actually asked this should match the request for 2023 over here okay for each one of us okay so that that was the deviation so Keep in mind, if that doesn't work for you, I, I would like some feedback. Um, Jerry, I should mention one thing to you. You, you know, we have this policy to guide us, but um, this is still a, you know, a work in progress. And I know, you know we've had a lot of change over with the administration. Um, so we haven't always gotten you know, everything we've looked for every year. You know, um, so I think you're, you're bringing us to a pretty good position here. And uh, you know you've done a lot to move this forward. It's really helpful to have clear balances because I don't think this last year at this point we had um, reserve balances. So and that's a critical thing. Sure. So thank you. Yeah, and I and I just I also want to point out you have this sheet electronically, so you you can you can kind of play with it. So if I if I unhide these. You're going to see some stuff in here that I didn't know. I didn't actually know what to do with it. I didn't know if I was supposed to put anything in here, but this is the way it's written in the policy. So I was, I was confused on on this. I didn't know if you you put it's okay. Some, yeah. You know on this, which is fine. I just want you to know yeah. where I was coming from, so you can, so you can help me help you. Yeah. I guess, in other words. Yeah. So this particular document is the first thing on your sheet in your packet. It's on the left-hand side. That's that's provided. That's your five-year plan. Um, <clears throat> and what backs up this? Excuse me. Sorry. Should the estimated cost for 2023 go to that far right column? Like the first one shows 49. I'll say it costs 50. The reason I asked if you scroll down is 16 for the generator, but then 32. I don't know that's a difference. Yeah. So you're saying 16,000? These requests here should match the request that you have for 2023. So what about what's in red? That's the same number. Because if you go down the generator in the red, it's 32. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good point. Um, so, sure if that was just a mistake or if there was something else. It, 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 it may be a mistake. Okay. Yeah, it may be. Okay. Sorry. No, 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 that's fine. No, that's fine, because there's, there's a little bit of a learning curve here for me, and I'm not a, at all afraid to, to admit it. Um, um, but anyway. So anyway, you have those, you have that five-year plan in, in this packet. So the other part of the packet is you're going to see. Before we go off the five-year plan, um, if you don't mind, I have one other comment that I'm wondering might be helpful. And I think we talked about this a little bit last year, but I, it's probably good if it doesn't get lost. On each one of these, I like the way you have this formatted, and I really don't think that these other columns, the year two, year three, year four, year five, are needed, that we need those, the way you have this formatted. Um, of course, you know, I'll let others weigh right. in. Um, but one thing that I think would be helpful is, at least for each department that you have there, if you total the bottom line with regard to, for that five-year period, what the estimated expenditures are, 
and the estimated reserve requests. So total the reserve requests and the expenditures. Now what that does is it gives you a metric by which you can see, well, um, uh, what percentage are you funding from reserve? What percentage of all these project requests for public works are you funding through reserve? Are you saving for? So our total, our total expenditure project expenditures are will be a million dollars. Okay, and we're planning on saving. We'll have you know X in reserve now, but we're planning on saving um, you know this additional money during that time. How much are we saving? And how much are we how much are we planning to, to save? How much are we planning to spend? And I think what that allows you to do also is, you know, we're in this kind of peculiar situation where we have these large bond payments right now. Um, and I don't know, you know, if it's even possible or feasible for us to be, for us to be saving for everything, saving everything we need to fund, like, you know, all this apparatus and all this equipment during the next five years. But maybe it's possible for us to save 40% or 50%. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's something where the selectmen need to weigh in. You know, how much should we be saving? It's a, it's kind of a larger question. How much should we be saving? Should we be saving, trying to save 100 percent? Should we be trying to save 60 percent? I'm not sure, but just by putting that metric on there, it begs the question. And I think you know, and hopefully that will, you know, we can kind of ferret that out over time. It's not going to happen tomorrow, probably or this year. You know, but. In future years, hopefully, you know we can address that. Okay. Okay. So yeah. just for clarity, you're you're asking to have this call added up. Well, it's a little tough the way it's organized there because the reserves and the expenditures are intermingled. Right. Right. So you're going to have to figure out how to format that. That's okay. a formatting decision. It's up to you. Yeah. It's so what's important is to see the numbers. To see the numbers that were. The expenditures versus what's going into reserve. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Um, very good. Let me just write that down. Once it's, it's on there. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. Thanks. Oh, and. Um, Gosh, you know, it's really my fault. We should have had, uh, we should have done our election at the outset of the meeting. I don't know if, you know, if you guys want to uh, take a moment because, you know, I don't really, I'm not the chair anymore. <laughs> Without being duly elected. I'm not the chair anymore. So, uh, anyway, so. Um, maybe we could just take a step back real quickly, real quick, and kind of dispense of that business. I'll yeah. make a motion that Paul first uh, become our chair for this session of the CIP committee. Uh, Deva, if you accept, of course. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll, I'll do the best I can. You know, I. I <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, sometimes it's pretty crazy in the first dinner announcement these days. Uh, I'll, I'll do the best I can. Uh, I make no promises, but I will try. <clears throat> okay, so okay, so okay. Uh, okay. Congratulations, uh, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Or, so, condolences, uh, or condolences. Yeah. So um, I will nominate uh, Joe Tom <coughs> as vice chair. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Okay. Very good. Okay, so we have a chair and a vice chair. Sorry for that interruption. No, 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 that's fine. Um, our, uh, so back to the packet. Now, you, you tell, me, tell me how you you would like this presented. But so the first the first folder, the first bit is um, it says town office administration. That 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 is. This, this building here. That's, uh -huh. that, that, that's kind of me. Do you want me to to go through these? Re the, the, all three, the, the, the request? Yeah, so, well, I guess um, I would ask is there, with regard to the schedules, did anyone have questions about the schedules before we get to applications? 
Um, and I think when we'll probably get into more depth about the schedules and the applications is when we talk with the department heads. But um, that might be a good point before we uh, start with the applications just to ask if there are any questions about, about the schedules. Somewhat of a process question. Um, so the, the ranking process and stuff makes sense, I guess. But how, how, how much of a lens um, do we need to have on what the reserve balance is and what the budget is when we're going through and ranking the, the projects? Should we just rank agnostic of how much is there and then it's up to select people to spend as much money and then go to warrant? Or uh, how much of a lens do we have for budget? Yeah. For well, I, you know, I have to go back and look at the criteria, but um, you know, it's kind of a combined thing. It's a more, a little more of a holistic approach. You know, I think you're looking at one. You know, for example, is how was the the cost derived? The cost of the, or the uh, improvement. You know, was it a telephone conversation with uh, you know with uh, a, you know someone that they know, or was it a written estimate? How much planning has gone into this project? Does it look like it's really like shovel ready, or are there a lot of unknowns still that could, for example, impact cost? You know, where is this project? So that's part of it, and that definitely um, comes out in the score uh, based on the criteria. And it might be helpful at some point, Pete, to you know, we'll take a look at those criteria together when we get to that yeah, point. Yeah, in the meantime, I guess just thinking about so just for as an example, so my reserve balance for fire departments, you know, five years out is minus two hundred sixty thousand yeah. dollars. So then, if I'm ranking a project, saying okay, we can't do any stuff for fire department because they're already you know um, yeah. underwater, or is that not? Well, you know, it kind of depends because it may be something like you know. One that we get sometimes is O2 tanks. You know, it's something where, like, you know, they really need this. Like, okay, our, or I say O2, gosh, it's terrible. It's a uh, self contained scuba, right? Self contained breathing apparatus. I was on a volunteer department, like, you know, 40 years ago, and they still used O2. So I still, they still use oxygen tanks. So I call them O2. Um, but, Anyway, you know, that's kind of a, that's a real life safety thing. And uh, those tanks rank really high because our tanks could no longer be filled by most of the vendors. Right. And they were also at their expiration date, you know, for being filled. And they couldn't be swapped out with other departments on mutual aid calls because it's a different style. So it's like, you know, this really needed to happen. And so those are the kinds of things where for some things you might say, well, yeah, okay, they don't have the money in reserve, but this is really important. You know, this needs to happen. Um, there may be other things where you look at it a little more holistically and you say, well, you know, this is, for example, it's an addition to the fleet. And um, I'm not convinced it's really necessary but, um, and either they do or they don't have the money, or, you know, in reserve. But it, it, it comes out in the ranking. It, okay. You know, it, you'll see it, it comes out in that process of going through the criteria. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, so uh, we'll go through the first request, the, the, the administration of the town hall. There, there really is no schedule like you'll see for fire and uh, other works. So the first one is, but it is in the spreadsheet. It is yes, in the, it, the file that you sent us. Yes. The schedules are. Yes. Okay. Um, I think so. I think we're on the same. They are. Okay. Um, so um, <clears throat> the first one is basically replacing the fax machine in the in the uh, in the copier. So what I've learned here is that the fax machine was on a five-year lease, and that lease ends this month today basically because we're into December tomorrow so that turns into a month-to-month -month lease from from here on out and we we're basically you know we're paying the lease payment is 2245 that's what we pay a year for the for the thing and then uh, another 120 for the fax machine <clears throat> so it, it works fine but we 
need to make a decision on we want to do we want to continue this lease or or, or not. Um, I've gotten some quotes for uh, some copy or fax machine there a combo that you can buy outright. Um, <clears throat> And the purchase also the one that I have right now is 6354 uh, so we buy that and then we can get into an $800 service contract a year for that and what that service contract provides you is the ink and if there's anything that goes wrong with it they'll come in and, and they'll fix it um, of course the risk there is when you buy something you owe it so if you buy a lemon there there could be some problems with that but i think this is a better way to go and the reason is um, we don't do a lot of volume when you talk about copy machines copy copiers will do they have about an 800,000 copy page life this town does a roughly 50,000 copies a year um, if we buy it outright and pay for the service contract you know <clears throat> as you can see in the um, breakdown here you know over a five-year uh, the lease option over a five-year period we're spending about 25,000 and the purchase option is 10,000 in, in, in the five-year period so really I think how you have to look at this is we take the hit up front by buying the copier, but from the subsequent years after that, instead of paying two thousand a year, we're paying eight hundred. That's yeah. really what it amounts to. Yeah. So we're looking at moving over ten thousand. Uh, yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, this is below the threshold. Oh, so so you don't look at anything over under under ten. Yeah. Perfect. I can just kind of buy this all on my own. I don't know that, but so so and I and I should probably yeah. bring this up. So and I'm not sure if the select board wants you to look at the opera money, but this was really to use for opera funds. Mm -hmm. So I don't know I'm not clear on if they're gonna want recommendations from this committee to spend I money know. on opera funds so I, this if you look at this funding source it clearly says down there opera funds so yeah. maybe this is a moot point but yeah you know I, well you know it sounds like a great idea if it'll save money but i think michelle is right on it's not really in our uh in our it's not in our charge beautiful to evaluate it one or the other okay yeah okay well that's Okay, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, but you know that said, it's still good for you because it really does for identifying this. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's like an uh, interesting opportunity. So the, the the second one that you'll see that for the uh, twenty three thousand, <clears throat> that is to replace the generator, the standby generator that the town office depends on when we lose power. Um, it just came to my attention the last windstorm uh, when we lost power the generator did not kick on and there was kind of a scramble to get the fire chief over here and the, the person that works on the generator to get it fired up and they struggled getting it going they, they ended up getting it going but the technician did say look this is a 20 year old machine it's a little old you might want to think about replacing it uh, moving forward it's running now and it has worked so this is also another good use I believe for ARPA funding um, that's one request that you ought the town ought to think about replacing is the, what is ARPA funding? that's the American Rescue Plan Act so that was federal dollars that came in they just kind of threw money in the town's lap it, well not just the town but many cities and towns um, maybe either you or Joe I'm wondering if one of you could enlighten us a little more with regard to the ARPA funding, like where it stands, how much is there, what the selectmen are looking for from the committee with regard to ARPA, those kinds of things. Okay, uh, if you just uh, hold on real tight, uh, I can so, really. Turn so that. we got somewhere around, I think it was the exact numbers, uh, $400,000. Yes. From, from the federal government. Um, 
as a result of all the funds that were available to do up to basically COVID and my debt that was, was flowed down from uh, to the states, to the counties, and the counties to the towns. Folks can use the ARPA funds for capital improvement projects and projects or they can use it for other things as well but you can't use it in combination with tax dollars that are collected for something so if you collected okay. you know a hundred thousand dollars for a truck and you want to use a hundred thousand dollars of armor funds that's a no no you can't really do that you got to do the whole two hundred thousand dollars of armor but it could be any truck it, it could, could be a plow truck yeah it could be a plow truck okay you know, i just spend the money on a, a couple plow trucks you could have done that Right. Um, we, we have used some of the money on uh, heating and um, heating upgrades here in the fire mm -hmm. heating cooling and insulation upgrades are here in the fire station. Yeah. Um, Jerry's got it all up on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and another good example of what Joe was talking about, like you're going to see that uh, Calvin Public Works has a request to fix a culvert. Well, there's grant money that he's also going after and you can't mix the two if there's, if there's grant money yep. provided by the federal government you can't mm -hmm. use opera funds right. yeah so you have, have to raise that you have to raise it so so just so you know where we're at this is what we received for opera funds we received 210 a in, um, in 2021 and 2022 we've got 211 for a total of 422. what's the 371 the 371 I'll, I'll get there in okay. just a sec okay so i i just want to explain to you so we had a special town meeting okay, okay to do some hvac work that joe was just talking about oh, yeah. uh, both at the fire station in the town office and then uh, technology upgrades and that's basically new computers for the town office fire station public works oh. um and then we're digitizing some tax maps mm -hmm. as well um and that it includes 16 uh, two years of updates okay so this was already done or approved yeah. to be completed it's, it was approved and okay. and the fire station's done the town office is done we're still working on this we bought the computers they just haven't been put in yet um as far as the town office insulation for 1675 dollars we insulated the roof here out of zealand um that's been done um this is getting worked on right now so these were the article amounts okay that totals 118 spent to date we've spent 51,000 so the remaining is this and if you take this and subtract it from that that's what we have left so so any money we don't spend by what 2024 needs to be given back to the federal government so there's a mandate that you have to spend it all <coughs> so that. yeah so yeah. we have to allocate it by 24 yeah, yeah. and you have to have it spend. spent by 26. Yeah, that's so yeah. we we have time to still kind of decipher yeah. or talk about a plan or yeah. how we want yeah. that money to go mm -hmm. and we've had i think Joe, we've had what three opportunities for public input on Correct. on how we spend those off funds and um, you know we're I'm keeping a list and it's captured in the minutes you know there's been some um requests to do stuff for the Eureka center mm -hmm. and uh, you know there's been some other other type of requests that we're that we're tracking so yeah we did decide as a panel to only to focus on town projects uh, there is an opportunity um, for some of the up money to go to um, uh, nonprofits, and we made a decision to select board one, select board meeting, and we were not going to go that route. It was because uh, we thought we'd go with a better distribution to all towns people to do, you know, town born projects across the board, and then everybody, everybody has that, sure. that give back, so yeah. to speak. Sure. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Rather than one group or another or we didn't want to have to pick and choose because you always need somebody else uh, makes it hard sure yeah. Yeah. so this this is the offer funding uh -huh. this, is, this is what we have left so roughly we have that and we're not spending all of the money in these cells it just didn't come to that so once we get all the money tabulated i'll keep a track of where we are exactly uh -huh. Uh -huh. in terms of what's been committed not what's been spent, but what's been committed to be spent. 
this right here. 118. The 118 has been committed to be spent. Yeah. And there could be some And the total right? is 422, 213. So what we have, the balance of what's uncommitted, that's the number, I'm sorry, what is it? Well, it, it, there's nothing really set right now because it's all still in motion. Like we, well, like we, we just bought some computers that we haven't paid the bill that John has seen. He yeah, but it's, yeah. it's he been committed. The, he doesn't yeah. have the number up there, but it'd yeah. be the 422 minus the 118. Okay. Has been committed. Yeah. Okay. It may end up to be less than the so one. We're roughly 310,000. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But what, 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 what do you want to see? 422 minus 118. Minus 118. We've committed 118,730. Right? So that's that's the number right there. There you go. There you go. So that's right. what's left. It's 300,000. It, it could be a little less than that based on the, you know, we estimated those costs. So yeah. they're coming in a little lower. So it, it, oh. it, which is good, right? Which is where you want to be. We have to vote every single dollar in. So yeah. if anything that we do has to go to the Warren article. Okay. So if we got to town meeting and we wanted to go and spend, say, the rest of the money on a truck, I'll just use it as an example, we'd say, okay, we want to uh, spend three hundred and three thousand dollars for one eighty three on a truck. Yeah. In one line item. Yeah. The second line item, if they vote that down, not to put ARPA funds on it, we may still need the truck. We might have a second line item that says we want to vote. Oh, we okay. want to raise three hundred three thousand yeah. dollars for a new truck. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, because you, yeah, you, you, you don't, you don't, you know what, you know, everybody's going to vote for it. Yeah. Multiple things. Right. We might give people a choice. Yeah. Saying we're going to either do it this way, or we still need it. If you don't do it this way, then you do it this way. We haven't quite gotten through that part of it yet. Uh -huh. That'll be the next big hurdle to get those worn articles written up in a way that. You know, I'll say lose something that you really need. You'd like to use that, but, but they may not vote that way to use it. So, so it's kind of an interesting. Problem. Let's say that, and of course, this is not a CIP item because right. it doesn't it's rise to the threshold. But what about the three in one printer copier fax? Like, would that have to go on a separate warrant? Yes. Okay. Yes, if this this first one here that's not the yeah. CIP yet, yeah, that would have to go as an article, as did the rest of these items here. No. We voted on the special town meeting to uh, allocate that money, so it would show up at, at, at town meeting as printer copier, sixty four hundred dollars from Harper, and then. We, we could allocate it just by the select board ourselves. You could because we could. did the scanner the other we day. We did the scanner the other day. Because there's a threshold. Is it below 10 grand? Uh, uh, yeah, there is a threshold. A, a, oh, okay. so you might be able to just go yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but a larger item. You can. Right. Yeah. Um, one thing I'll note here, I don't know if you guys recall, both last year and I believe the year before, there was a request related to administration space planning yes and um i can't recall i think uh kathy's request was for something like a needs assessment with regard to um you know what the needs are here in town hall for space right and what the options might be like one option might be going Is that it? here which one we plus the for future, future town, town office configuration. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, you know, that's, and in my mind, that's certainly, you know, these are the kind of things that only come along once in a kind of a blue moon. Yeah. This kind of cash inflow that might, that is one of the might be good direction. And that's one of the improvements that we are looking at. Uh, yeah. Improve the Eureka Center to have all the meetings over there, which will right. free this space up yes. for them to exactly. divide and conquer right. a little bit yeah. in here and give everybody a little more space because they have jammed up there. Yeah. But that's yeah. enough. I think that's down the threshold that we can just vote on to go and allocate it. Oh, that's it great. It has to yeah. do with the technology upgrade that we have out there uh -huh. that we're looking yeah. at. Yeah. Okay. In, in, in that, and I will say that is really important now that you have a town manager, whether it's me or not. Yeah. Uh -huh. The way it's set up now, I 
the town manager doesn't have the flexibility to really have a confidential conversation. Right, and of course. You really, you really need that yeah. at, at times, yeah. whether it's with personnel or someone on the phone or with an attorney. And there's, there's just a door. And it, it, there really should be some separation yeah. there. Uh -huh. So it's a, it, it really does make the manager a little uneasy at times. But I, and I just throw that out to you. So I think that's a good, you know, when it was the select board running and they were off doing their other jobs and stuff, and they weren't here every day. It's a, it's it's different now. Yeah, and of course the you know the board has the ability to do those things without going through CIP. Yeah. Right. Like a reserve like that. Um, so, uh, but you know, uh, that's great. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I won't confuse you. Just, you guys have your packet. I won't confuse you. Um. That so. But, so that's. Generator. Yeah. So that's the generator, and so Which this this. Which size will that generator be? Sorry. Which size will that generator be? Like what? I just noticed that there was a difference for cost of electric fire station, so I didn't know if the generator over there is larger than the generator here. Yeah, that's a you know that's a that the, the generator over there is running something much bigger than it's running here, and, I, and I don't really know the you know, details. Sorry. Chief Chief is the one that put this together, Chief okay. Trip. So okay. and so I, I don't really know all the details. I do have the quotes though for them if you'd like to see them. I, I can print them off or I can send them to you just so you so you know. Yeah. So this all this 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 was like, you know, not not a surprise, but it was a last minute request because of the windstorm and the thing not kicking on. So do, do we have a late. currently a maintenance contract? Or do we do an annual maintenance? Yeah, we have we have a person that we contact when we need work on the generator. Well, not when we need to work on it, but it's prevented maintenance. Not that, to my it's, knowledge. We I don't. know, you know, most towns or facilities that rely on a generator, for example, for municipal operations, they'll have an annual. They'll do an annual uh, prevented maintenance. Yeah, and that's they'll come in. They'll check the battery. Right. Okay. Know, is the battery good? Yeah. They'll do these very basic things, and then they'll run it. They'll make sure that it's operating so, as it should be. I can't imagine that we don't, but I don't know that for sure. And, uh -huh. and that'd be a really yeah. great question for Chief when you if to to because right. we have, have two because we have two and he kind of runs have that. Three. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, but I can certainly ask him too. But yeah, that's another yeah. good question to ask him because he'll know the details because he it's usually he took care of that whole situation. Yeah, well, we have a line item budget. for generator work, but okay. it's, it's not it's not a law like 300 bucks. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's usually that's that wouldn't be enough. Right. Yeah. So it wouldn't be enough. So yeah. that'd be a good, good question. Okay. But that's what this request is for. Okay. Uh, again, the funding source is important here. I, 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 and like you said, it's in a these funds don't come very often. Yeah, I think offer funds is a good opportunity to do that. So the next one, the assessing this. <clears throat> so last year, you all approved sixty thousand dollars to do a market adjustment, and that got actually put into the operating um, cost for the town, our operating budget. The, that has not gotten done. Um, in talking with the assessor, it's been a while since Durham has done a full market reevaluation and she feels that it, it's time to do that and rather than a market adjustment and she's looking at doing it in 2025 but she doesn't do it she wants to hire it out to a consultant mm -hmm. okay so she's estimating um, Donna so that's going to be somewhere between 150 and 200,000 and it's and it's quite a project if we do it in 2025 that means that it has been 15 years since we, the town of Durham has done one. So this request is another 60,000 to put in reserve, take the other 60,000 that you all approved and keep it there, but keep it at 120. Mm -hmm. 2024 will request another 60 to get it at 180 and we're gonna be in that ballpark estimate to do this market reavow. Now, 
what we need to do if we're gonna if we're gonna do this as a town is we need to get that RFP out sooner than later if we're gonna plan on doing it because they're booked up and, and these things take a while and we need to get an actual estimate on what it on what it's gonna on what what that's gonna be but she feels very very strongly that it's time for that a full blown market reevaluation. And who is this? Donna Hayes, our assessor. Okay. Yeah. I guess here's my concern. I see the importance, I completely understand the importance of being able to have this financial flexibility of having access to those funds to be able to get you from um, you know, the town meeting date or even before town meeting, given that we're on a calendar year, through to when the tax payments start rolling in, you know, to have that kind of flexibility. Um, my concern is what if you get in a situation where because these funds aren't in a, they're kept in a separate account, they're spent and they can't get replenished? I share the same concern, Paul. About. Then I think you're in a, a real pickle. It's a real box. It is. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I because they, they can only be raised once, right? It, it, not to mention the fact that it makes the accounting, makes your job tougher because um, you're having to, in the back of your mind, always, you know, think about, well, you know, is that money still there? Mm -hmm. When I'm thinking about the balance sheet or when I'm thinking about the budget and what I have left, am I accounting for the fact of all these reserve funds? Right. You know, what's the true number I have available to spend? I've been struggling with that. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I have. And I, you know, and I'm just kind of, you know, bumbling <clears> through you know, right. how we do this. And at some, at some point, even though it may cost more because you've got to borrow more, you sometimes have to, you know, face up to those realities in terms of being able to keep um, clear finances. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I agree. Don't make cost more. Yeah. Because you know, again, if, <clears throat> if the community's been great, the select board's been great. I mean, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, when something becomes a ray in the budget and the finance, we don't have it. They're going to look to the town manager. Of that's right. What happened? And, yes. And that's yeah. con and that is a concern. Yeah. It absolutely oh. is. And, um, <clears throat> but we'll get through it. We're pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. right now. We're in really we're pretty good shape. I just met with the bank, and right now yeah. we're pretty good shape. But you are absolutely right. Moving forward, yeah, we we need better accountability. You need numbers that are real. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, tra and track and, 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 and exactly. Right. I, I agree. And yeah. we'll, we'll get there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So that, that's what this sixty thousand is reserved is to is to look forward to the future to do this market reevaluation because they are expensive and the actual evaluation takes takes quite a, quite a while could, could take could take up to a year to complete even so that's just setting money aside for that that's that's what I have um, for, for request here okay for the town and. We can move on to the next page. We will get into public works and, his, and, and Calvin's request. Um, and what you have is you have the request. Um, you have his schedules, um, his inventory, what he has. Should all match up pretty good. And so Calvin still has that money that was allocated last year the hundred that was raised last year about yes yeah and that is included in his but it's going to cost another 49. yes um right because it was a well it was 101 is what the town approved last year to do the stream crossing right so his for the price went up yeah in yeah. the town and the town's portion is 150. so i i rounded it up to 50. The grant is for 150, and he believes that's what it's going to cost to get that job done. So that's what he's requesting. To, is to this the last year that 
and that uh, DEP will make these grant funds available to us? Yeah. That it's I don't know. That's a crystal ball type question, and I'm not really uh -huh. I'm not really I'm not okay. really sure. And I think I think what you'll hear from Calvin is, and I kind of agree with him, is that. He has the opportunity now. And he he doesn't want to lose that opportunity. So if he's, are we sure that do we have a, a commitment? It's like in a letter or something. Well, the that? application and everything is out there to the DEP, and he feels pretty strongly that it's going to fly. Oh, okay, so he submitted again. Yes, I see. Yes, he has. Okay. Um, and I believe, and you, you, and you folks will probably could tell me better, but I think this was, you know, to do those two streams, he was going to do two of them and that got approved, but because one got to be more money, he had to put the... Yeah, they both, they, uh, well, they, they went up. Yeah, they went up in price, and, and, it, and, it, and it is, price, yeah, and I, so that's why only one got done. Okay, well, only one got forward. Right. Oh, oh, and that's Swamp Road, you're talking yeah. about? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, the next one that's got, um, that's in line is that he wants to put a hundred dollars, hundred thousand into his reserve to just replenish it, so he has money in there to maintain his fund balance. You know, it would be great if uh, when he puts this one together, and I I really appreciate the fact that Calvin gets this right with respect to the request type project request type reserve yeah he gets that right but where i think he, this application could be a lot stronger is if he described why he's asking for a hundred thousand he doesn't do it at all so and you know if you take the time to do that okay. just like i mean and i i'm not thinking of really myself i mean i can go back and probably figure it out but you know what about the budget committee because you know I, obviously they love to cut this stuff this is where they, you know, really like to like, you know, go in and well, you know, we think he only needs, we'll only do twenty, and we'll fund this other thing. He needs a little more information here. Okay. And, and I think against the schedules, his overall you know, long-term schedule, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, show yeah. that right, this is, you know, the reason why again back to we're saving this amount of our well, we're putting in reserve this amount for right. You know the building of a truck in the future, or the build, you know, building of a couple of things. In the and the reserve is down to only 166, and yeah. we got an expenditure for right. you know so, X coming on the horizon. So, so does that make for a truck for next year another two hundred fifty thousand dollars or something like that? Exactly. We you know, yeah. that was the goal is the end of hundred to be put in to add to the hundred and sixty five there. Yeah. And talking with Calvin, I think he he likes to have a little money in the bank. <laughs> and, and, and then I think because he gets nervous about because he, I mean, it is a big department. He does drive a lot of trucks. And if something were to go bad, he wants that money there to be able to, yeah. to, to, to rely on in case he does need to do something drastic. But uh, certainly I can ask him but, to. But I, but I think Paul's right, though. This needs to be tied to. The schedule. the schedule, yeah, and not um, just the replenish, and not just the replenish, unless you, yeah. you know. Well, I was going to ask, should I read this? I mean, so he wants the hundred to put it in the reserve, and if I look down to twenty twenty six, he's looking at a two hundred eighty thousand dollars expenditure. So, like, is he trying to bank money to then be able to? Yeah, if he is, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's that's what he's trying to do. He's right. just got to say it. Yeah, he just needs yeah. to say it, and, and I think that's what he's doing. And just say that because I mean, any emergent issues, you know, he's either going to take out of his budget or we're going to have to allocate something out of out of uh, town, uh, out of town uh, capital, uh, or, uh, our town um, reserve budget, right? We have, you know, so with the emergent issues, I think are a little you can't plan on, right? right? Right. So, so if you tie these to an actual thing that's coming up. And it makes it that more help because you're going to say, I need that truck in 2026 yeah. or 2027. Exactly. So, in 27. so you're yeah. going to have to either raise it then or raise it now. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And, 
It's, it's kind of a pay me now, pay me later. Get it on their radar yeah. now. Yeah. This is his opportunity. That, that, that makes it, that's the selling point. Yeah. I, I'm looking for three trucks within the next five right. years, which is really what he's doing. Right. right. It's this one this year, and then his truck next year, and then right. a plow truck, and it, whatever it is. And two, and, and, for, and for the committee and the folks, it keeps the surprises down to a minimum. It's like, oh, yeah. Right. In the town. We knew right. it was coming. Yeah. Exactly. You knew it was coming. banking yeah. our money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's that one. So, so the next one is um is a new truck, a new uh light duty plow with, with a dump because the one he has now is really in bad shape. I guess they've welded the body a couple, two or three times, and, and it's time to to replace it. Um, you can certainly talk to him because I asked him about it. I said, "Do you really need it, Kevin?" He says, "I do because I mean, we we welded the body several times." Yeah, I saw so, it on there. It was 90, 97,000, I think. Yeah. The old one, and that's, um, that's pretty good duty for a yeah, small platform. Like right. It's, and he can certainly yeah. ask. Um, you can ask him more questions about it when when he. When he uh, hey, my when question he about that application would be: I'm thinking back to last year. Um, he had an application for a truck for a wheeler. Yeah. And he was he requested two hundred thousand dollars. I believe at the Florida town meeting it had to go up like twenty or thirty thousand dollars. I mean it was forty thousand dollars because he hadn't budgeted enough. Right. So um, is to make sure that I see this says dealership quote. Does he have it in writing? Does he have something in writing? He he, he does. Uh -huh. Here's the here's the this happened to me in another when I was in another minute. The same thing happened to me. Is these quotes they didn't last. Ah, uh, they're like thirty days. Yeah, yeah, and 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 when they went up, yeah, they went up. Yeah, yeah. it was it was yeah. dramatic. Yeah. So it's very difficult for from even myself or the department head to. To put yeah. a price on something today and have it hold for sure yeah, three or four months, months. Yeah. it's just yeah. no. it's 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 the climate that we're in right now i see i hope that yeah. we can climb out of it eventually yeah. so we can get back to more realistic bids that will hold yeah. um you know his even the truck now that put it's it's up to 242 and it's coming soon he actually got it and it's over at Viking Seas now getting all the equipment put on it. There's even a surcharge on that, so it even went up again since that time. So be, very difficult to, yeah. to to nail that down. Especially with these inflation. It, it is. It's, it's very difficult. Um, so Well, he may want to keep that in mind, too. As he goes. That's why it's hard to predict, you know, yeah. moving forward. You know, what, what do you, like, if you are going to, you know, plan for a new plow truck in say 2025, and you put a, a three percent interest rate on it for the next couple of years, and you think it's going to be 270. You really don't know. No. You won't know until you till you get there. Do we know what kind of truck he's interested in buying? Well, he's getting it's a it's a Freightliner, I believe. No, this one here. Oh, this one here. Yeah. Um, it doesn't. It's, it's, it says that um, I know the current one's a one ton. Right. And he says he wants one that's heavier duty. This is one and a half ton single axle dump. Oh, does it? And uh, yeah. it's on the uh, vehicle yeah. schedule. Yeah, vehicle schedule. Oh, uh, that's the current one. Yeah. Uh, or does he say what type the new one is? Oh, okay. He got it right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Pete. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to keep the 2008 Chevy one ton. One ton. I see. I know. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I think I know he wanted another <laughs> truck for the guys to run yeah. parts or things out to a site. You know what my experience is that the problem with doing that. It's a really kind of like, oh, it's not going to cost us anything, right? Until this yeah. one, 2008, until we're three more years out, and it has to be replaced, and it will get replaced with a new truck. That's when, or typically, that's the way it happens. 
because this 2008 Chevy, you know, it won't, even for doing parts runs or whatever it gets allocated to, um, it won't last forever. No. Eventually it'll get replaced, and when it gets replaced, it will probably get replaced with a new truck. Yeah, we have to keep an eye on that. <laughs> and it, yeah, the way my mind works and being in public works, yeah, for, he may want to beat that truck up a little bit more with his coal patch and his gravel rather than. Well, that's good. Yeah, rather, yeah, than, sure. rather than putting okay. all that stuff in the new one. Yeah. You know, you know yeah. I mean, drive. I mean, what what are you going to get for it really when you trade in? So let's beat it up some more. You as know? long as somebody's yeah. keeping their eye on it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> 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 the other thing was, just the one that they wanted to use for the fire department. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. This is not the one. No. They don't have to take his truck and repurpose it for the fire department. Yes. And, and then he gets a new one. We'll talk about that when we get into that. To that. Because I think. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not. Do these guys. Like uh, my house. <laughs> is there an opportunity for them to get, like, if they're running parts? Um, and so we, we have a we have a, a mechanic, right? Do we have a yes, mechanic? absolutely. Yeah. So if the mechanic needs to go out and get parts, does he get reimbursed for mileage if he uses his private vehicle? Well, he shouldn't, but he, he shouldn't really be using this private vehicle, and he shouldn't really be running out for parts that much because okay. these these Everything these places are them. really good yeah. at delivering the parts. Yeah. I think it's when it's an emergency, like if they're out there and a snowstorm or something, they blow a hydraulic hose or something. And uh -huh. they, they, they have to go out to a site. Yeah, right. They yeah, need yeah. something. They, they, yeah, don't, yeah. they don't have a vehicle there that can be taken out yeah, yeah. wherever okay. something happens or a piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah. Ninety percent of the time, their parts should be getting delivered right. to them. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's yeah. just those yeah. emergency type. And, and, and it does happen. Doesn't happen very often, or it should. No. All right. Okay. So that that pretty much takes care of public works. Oh, and then you have his, uh, which I gotta say, you know, he did a lot of work on this yeah. road plan. Um, I would, you know, I wouldn't, you know, as far as the prices go. I mean, these, this is like throwing darts at prices these days. I mean, it's inc it's incredibly expensive to pave, so I don't know what he used for for, for factors in his paving or, or, or what he did. What a nice job uh, yeah. I, that he did. And, and, and even just to have the inventory of roads and just a yeah. basic plan, I, I, yeah. I do have to applaud his effort here. Um, it's just terrific. And so next year, it's kind of like, one and a half mile of Auburn Pownell Road. It's my recollection. Is that right? Yeah, we'll see. What gets so let me tell you what's dangerous about road oh, plans and paving yeah, yeah. is that things change. Things change, yeah. And he's he's actually gonna even switch next year his plan. Yeah. And it's very difficult to tell folks well this what is the road is gonna be. Right. I this know. is my yeah. plan because I've always liked to tell the folks that I did workshops to you you plan your work and you work your plan yeah because if you if you don't then you yeah, sort yeah. of lose credibility yeah but what happens is the Quaker meeting house road now is getting pounded with trucks yeah and yeah. it and that and it gets a lot of traffic I was wondering about that because I didn't see that on the schedule right and because yeah. you, you don't anticipate that because because yeah. our gravel pit opened up or something I don't know right, all the details so yeah. now they're using that road right. and it wasn't built mm -hmm. to take that kind of traffic yeah. right so you know if you don't if you don't maintain it while you still have a good base and you still and sure. you know, so he wants to put pavement on that to support the, the, yeah, the yeah. traffic that's on so Got that's it. why there's a switch okay the problem with a plan like this is, you know, you got Mrs. Jones that sees the plan and they're like, well, you said you were going to be on my road in this, 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 this year. Uh, my neighbor was going to be after me. Right. <laughs> and, uh, they're like, there's not a road. Right. I just told them I noticed, yeah, I think I was going to be next year because it was supposed to be the end of this year. I don't, I don't know what's going on in 10 years down the road. So. You, and, and, I don't know if it's still on. You, 
<laughs> well, they're like, Joe, something important. We'll yeah. finally get our rope. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not going to happen. This, <laughs> this is trash built. That's it. This is great work. I, I like I said, I applaud. I applaud his efforts, and it's good to have. But it can yeah. also it can also come back to yeah. my child. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yes. there are, I've been involved with municipalities for over 20 years, and there are not many towns, cities, or towns that have a plan that looks like this because uh -huh. they, or if they do they don't show it yeah but it gives you something to it does i mean this is post. this is yeah. this is this is great i'm yeah. not knocking it at all i just yeah, yeah. i just caution us on yeah. what we what i, I get a feeling he doesn't have an eye that it was already already somewhere i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> it's there. it's a small road. it's not there yeah right <laughs> <laughs> um so, so in the next set, uh, we'll talk with fire, and I'll tell you, fire is in good, is in pretty good shape, uh, especially with their with their uh, fund balance or their reserve fund balance. He's, and you know, he's not really asking for for a whole lot, but um, one thing that he is um, the generator, the same thing. He's looking to replace that generator because that again is over 20 years old. Um, and, and it's a need of repair, and he can certainly ask, answer more detailed questions because I'm going to be honest, I don't know a lot about the, the, the generator. Um, he, he does have some stuff down in here that, um, yeah, he's got the ratings on this one. And um, so one comment, and I know this seems small, but reserve request type should be project. Okay. And he's looking, and that means he's looking to spend the money in 23. Yes. I'll make that note. Quick clarifying question. I'm just um, noticed that looking at this budget, so even though so they have a reserve of $284,000, but their requests, we still need to approve their requests, but then the funds aren't additional funds coming from the budget it's a request to spend a reserve that's already existing well actually no. he's saying he wants to use our yeah he's, he's looking to offer that yeah under potential funding sources and not and not use what he has in the budget or range or anything. okay so just think so like when i'm looking at the expenditures and then remaining balance that's not necessarily because i guess in my mind i think about you know like a reserve on a balance sheet that that's not necessarily tracking because if they were using ARPA funds, then there would be essentially a deposit into that. So it wouldn't have to come out of their budget. Wouldn't come out of the reserve. Yeah. Okay. That's but right. so then, so, but then the, the, the then that number, right, that number yeah. would go away. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. more of a snapshot. And it's kind of hard because under the potential funding sources, there's a lot of, I mean, you know, we probably aren't going to have an opportunity to weigh in whether really it's an ARPA, whether it's ARPA funded or not. And maybe that's something the committee has to decide is, do we want to weigh in? It sounds like maybe we should be, because usually all we do is we provide a ranking and we don't, we don't uh, make recommendations with regard to changing the, the amount or, or the funding source. Right. So, um, Right. You know, I'm not sure exactly how to handle this in this case because the selectmen could as easily easily decide, and it's up to them how they put it on the warrant. Right. They may decide to put it on as ARPA, or they may decide to put it on as reserve, or they may decide to put it on as tax. Right. And I personally, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with recommending what you think. I think the yeah. select board can do what they what they want with it, but. I don't know, Joe. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think we've got to take a more a more holistic view and yeah. just rank rank them right. and and note the at the end we could take a look at what the you know what what amount of offer has been allocated. Yeah. At the beginning, at the top of the list, you know, yeah. as we go over the threshold, yeah. we may have a recommendation saying, "Hey, select board, we 
we, we did these five things and they happen to be all the offer things off the top of the list. So that went only at 322. So some of these you're going to have to make a choice on whether you raise it or don't do the project. Right? Well, I think, or, 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 you know, or, or, or rewrite it. Or it or I think you're really right, Joe, because if I go into the get and buy a cup of coffee, it doesn't really matter if I take the money out of my brain pocket. Yeah, not, right, exactly. You know, and it's really up to the selectmen and the staff, in my mind, to decide how, you know, to yeah. best distribute that money. We can yeah. spend a lot of money saying, oh, we think this one should be funded by ARPA, and we think this one should be funded by tax. The only thing that's going to be is. It, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and the, only, the only difference between right and left will be whether you buy a small or a large. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so, probably going to be a small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No. <coughs> that way we don't get into the middle of the offer. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And, 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 but our recommendation may be all offer things at the top of the list. Well, not just yeah. At all. Exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, personally, that's where I think it belongs. Yeah. yeah. This has been really, really good because it, it sounds like with these requests, there's really only two, project or reserve. Mm -hmm. Only two. See, I'll remember that for, I'll take that to my grave. Oh, okay. So the next year when I do this, I'll know better. Yeah. Because, and that's yeah. why I was, and this is exactly why I was looking forward to these meetings, to uh -huh. to really get a good handle on what, what, are, what are we actually doing? Because I could talk to Chief Chip and Calvin, and I'm going to get two different uh, accounts yeah, of yeah, how yeah. it works so yeah. this is this is really really uh -huh. helpful oh great so, uh, which makes me feel good inside um so that's that um request so these plug moven moven exhaust removal um this is diesel extraction from the garage when they run their vehicles inside now i can't tell you why they would run their vehicles inside. I don't know if it would be, you know, pressure checks or pump checks or what it is, but it basically removes the exhaust from the trucks and moves it out of the building. Those exhaust particles are the number one causing uh, cancer in firefighters. So he's requesting to uh, the 50,000 to get these in his, in his garage. Mm -hmm. um, and he can certainly talk more about why and the dangers mm -hmm. and, and that sort of thing. I mean, he kind of he kind of has it um, written written in there. You know, sixty percent of firefighter deaths have been due to cancer because of these particles in the air when he's running his equipment inside without exhausting it out, outdoors. Yeah. This is new. We don't have this kind of thing. Right. It's just right. like, like exhaust blowers in there now. Nothing uh, okay. more, more defined to go suck the air on the and it's a pretty archaic system. Yeah. I can <laughs> certainly appreciate the uh, the health hazard. It'd be nice to, you know, have like, I don't know, a citation there or something. I mean, he's got some pretty uh, clear statements there with regard to most significant cancer health risk. Yeah. Um, like, you know, is this, how did he find out about this? He's been in the business for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, he's worked for three different states and he's just, he's been at it a, a long yeah. time. He, or another we're, way we're pretty lucky to have him. He says, is it mandated by law or required to meet a standard? And it's NFPA 1500. NFPA 1500. I know chiefs, they love to do this. <laughs> they love to say NFPA requires this. And it's probably true, but they never tell you like what section of NFPA requires right. it. They just tell you NFPA 1500, which is probably like, you know, 300 pages long. <laughs> so, you know, but whatever. It, 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 it looks important. And, 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 and I will say that uh, the chief does go after a lot of grant funding when he can and, 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 and his justification down there that doesn't, that they've been unable to get the, 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 some grant funding for this grants. Just a 
here. So that's the, that's that one. Um, the only other let's see what we just got here. The only other request that he has is he wants a um, he wants his own chief's car or ES, EMS response. Right now he's using his own personal vehicle. So well, we've got the Quint rehab too. Just yeah. Oh, the Quint. Oh, so sorry. Did I skip that? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. No, I think it's after, after the, yeah, after, the, after, after chief's car. Oh, okay. So yeah, all right. So the chief's car. Yeah, he he really feels he should have uh, a city a city vehicle. Um, and I, you know, my two senses, is I do not disagree. So when he, when he goes home at night and he gets a call, he uses his own truck to go to the call. Mm -hmm. So if it's a bad accident and he needs to block off the road, he's blocking the road off with his own truck uh, yeah. doing town business. Mm -hmm. And I think if you, if you, you did some research and, and you looked, uh, around that most fire chiefs will have a city or town vehicle that they that they use and what he was what he was he didn't care either way if calvin was going to get a new truck he just would have calvin's old truck as long as he's not using his own that's 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 the idea and uh or if you're feeling um generous he'd certainly take a his own new one and not take a hand me down from calvin yeah so either either way that's I see. You and see. Calvin's old truck would be next year, not yeah. not 23, but 24. Yes, that's true. He's not looking to replace that. Right. Yeah. Um, so. And this see. is um, uh, would be nice if he was more specific here. Request type. It says ongoing project build out. It's either he's either he's requesting to put money into reserve, or he's requesting to spend it next year. In 23, so, he has to decide. Okay. Yeah, so. here, but is he yeah? Is he reserving or is he the, the build up the project? Uh, project would be immediate. I, mean, I know he'd like to do it right away, but well, yeah, is it? Yeah. Uh, so there's some that needs to be a little better defined. What is it he wants to do this next year? You know, is he looking to buy a new? Is he asking to buy a new vehicle? The amount requested is sixty thousand dollars, so it looks to me like he's exactly looking to buy either a new or a used yeah uh, vehicle. I guess it also is that net that there's contractual. I guess we're paying a stipend for the use of the personal vehicle, and it says that it'll offset by fifty percent. So is that sixty grand net of the fifty percent, or should I net that up to? Um, oh, I see. Yeah. 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 So yeah, well, so we're, we're currently paying him three hundred a month for his own vehicle. Uh -huh. It's only 30, yeah. 3600 and I guess 36, times 10, 000. so 36000 so it would, I guess that. But that, that won't be in the budget. If, that would come out of the budget if he gets this. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming Maybe. at some point it would come out of the budget. Well, that's his budget. That's being paid to him. Right. As long, once it, once he has it, it I mean, it might take him a while to get this truck, right? Yeah. Once the money gets allocated for him to get it, it may be month, it may be April or May before you can stop paying that, you know, the 300 a month. And then you can have direct expenses of gas and insurance. And right. Repairs and maintenance. That's yeah. the idea of the reimbursement, isn't it? Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. So, yeah. It's not just the so what would happen if he was blocking traffic and someone rammed into his personal vehicle? What, what would we do there? How would that work? I'm guessing he's getting a stipend for personal use then. That, that covers his, his insurance. And that is a risk. I mean, we, I mean, he said it. We, he, we're getting a deal. He, he kind of ribs us <laughs> he, a little bit he last time it, he yeah. went. No, he but, during the meeting the other yeah, day. he had to go to a call and he reminded so, us that he was using his own vehicle. So, so they had to go to a call. Do so, you think it'd be his insurance? It would be insurance. insurance. Yeah, it's a yeah. personal Because he owns we, it. We, we, because he owns it. He owns so it. So the town has, you know, that's why we're paying him a stipend uh -huh. for the maintenance and all that stuff, and the gas, and as well as his insurance, right? So he he needs to, he's covering the truck. You can't insure something you don't own. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. 
concern. So, so yeah, I get what he's created the dilemma there, um, mm -hmm. and um, he definitely does harass us. <laughs> So we're in a good deal. What's that? So we're in a good deal. The town is getting a good deal right now. Uh, so this would definitely, I think, be more expensive the, overall. But I'm relating it to like company vehicles on the corporate yeah. side of things. So I guess the flip side of that is that if you had a um, a town vehicle, does it does it use that for personal use? Because I would. I mean, because then that's that's taxable. I, I don't know how, how do we set up Calvin's uh, his town vehicle? Does he need that at the at the at the shop when well, he, he takes home, it home. He takes that home. Mm -hmm. so we pay for all that. The mm -hmm. town pays for all that. Yep. So my second Technically, it's taxable uh, and, to him and, and on I, an annual basis. Yeah, and I don't know what the chief was intending for this vehicle to be his own, or was it going to be a command vehicle to be left at the station? No, it was going to. No, he would take it home because he gets called out. He, he's the first one. Right. Right. right yeah. So he would take that home. He does. Right. Does he live in Durham? He lives in Powell. Okay, right over uh, the line. Yeah, right we're up by the store, so somewhere near, near the store. Yeah, I'm not really it's quite sure where yeah. he's told me he's living. Yeah, he's nearby. Yeah, it's not too far. Yeah. I, I think the question, yeah, the town is getting a good deal, but is yeah. it a fair deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, that's the question. Uh, you know, yeah. that's that's what I think you have to answer yeah, right. in, right. to put both parties. So. so. We had just, I mean, I guess if we're, do we have any idea of the mileage? And again, I'm looking at, you know, at 55 cents a mile, which is what the IRS tax rate is for reimbursable mileage. And that's where, because I mean, in theory, that 55 cents covers the full cost of ownership. And yes. So, which including depreciation, where insurance, all that, right, every, everything, all in. Yeah, um, thank you. Which, and so that's, I mean, I, I'm not saying one way or another on this, but just if we're going to, do the comparison. I guess I'd be curious. I don't know that we're necessarily getting a deal of three hundred dollars a month. Depends no, on number no months. idea. Yeah, yeah, no idea. Well, and I think that's a really good point, though. And I know that's what I'm familiar with with towns is using the IRS mileage rate mm -hmm. rather than a, a flat sum. Yeah. We've had we've gone around on that before. That's all you can do. Yeah. I mean, besides that, then you can get to the point where the fact of like having an official vehicle on the scene of an accident might. Need to have its own benefits versus having, you know, just somebody with a, you know, flashing light, um, right? Would be so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And having a city truck, he could, he could supply that truck with the, the proper safety stuff, and always be with them and that sort of right. thing. You got to remember, the city. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. That was the other point. It would be outfitted with. Right. With, but, yeah. To help him at these emergency yeah. scenes and things like that. Don't play that yeah. the woods, but I mean, there's, there's definitely some, there's definitely advantage to it, and um, yeah. and he does do a lot, so it's not considered a very single call as here. Yeah, I do think there's something I mean, just even talking about them because there are additional expenses that go along with that. So I don't think I mean just and it may be advantageous to go new versus used because then if you're going with a five-year-old vehicle then you're going to have additional maintenance if you're expecting to use it right. for 10 years uh, i just there's probably some other stuff and, to be better. right i think this um there's there needs to be more definition here with regard to what he, what he's proposing i think would be helpful and then of course the other option is something jerry mentioned which is um this idea of that and this is not in the application. I guess this is an aside, but um, that the ch that Calvin's looking to retire his truck, his 2008 public works director truck, next year. You know, I have no idea what kind of condition that vehicle is in, but you know, would that make sense as like as a bridge? Is that the one that was the to replace with the one and a half ton? No, no that's, oh, that's, that's, the, one. Okay. That's, that's the one that's coming up next year. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So if you didn't use that truck for the chief, then you might want to hold off from uh, the, the other use one that they're looking for and use Cowan's. But use Cowan's, right. But yeah. that's a, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. That's, that's, that's right. hard. Yeah. Yeah. I don't but, know. And, and, and then moving forward as we get going and as I get going more familiar, we, we will 
down the road talk about leasing these sort of equipment because of the way <clears throat> our fiscal budget is helps with cash flow. So instead of taking sixty two hundred fifty thousand dollars right out of the reserve and wondering if we're going to have enough money in, in June to get by without doing a tan, mm -hmm. if we lease for five years, you then you pay that one time lease payment and you're not pulling all that money out at once. Mm -hmm. Then you lease to own. And there's ways, you know, and as I get more information to talk about that, that might be an avenue that we explore um, as we go down the road. There's a lot of towns that, that do it that way mm -hmm. rather than trying to save all this money at once. So, do you know if this vehicle, what they tow over there and whether he's doing the towing with his personal truck? Because I know, you know, in a lot of towns that they have like a, a forestry SU, uh, forestry like four wheeler or the boat. Yeah. Well, they, the have, boat, they have the no other way to move it around. Yeah. And I'm not, uh, I'm not really sure if he's using a, a different truck other than his own to tow the boat. I, I don't, uh, I'd he, have to ask. Yeah, they, they don't, yeah. I don't believe he tows the boat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't have another yeah. trailer with like a, uh, with a four wheeler, or is this just the, it's just the boat? It's just yeah. the boat, and that's yeah. ready to roll, and they usually hook that up, I think, to a forestry truck, typically. I see. Great questions, you know, about being three months old, they're hard to answer. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Um, so there, there, there's that, and I, I you know, it's, it's not the first time this is, uh, been brought up. So the next, the next one is the, the Quint mm -hmm. um, rehab. Rather than now, I know he's trying to re. It was one or the other, you know, save for a brand new fire truck or try and rehab the one he has. Mm -hmm. and I think that's what he's, what he's looking to do. And I, you know, and again, I, I haven't been here that long. I don't know much about fire trucks at all. Or. Or what he means by rehab or what he wants to rehab first but he's okay with rehabbing the quick truck mm -hmm. and, 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 and the schedule of that what he's going to replace mm -hmm. first I, I don't I don't know that I um, I trust Rob that he, that he does know mm -hmm. kind of kind of leave it to him um, this is something that came out of uh, the conversations last year where you know we had always had a replacement quint on the schedule right. which was you know in there for something like you know seven hundred thousand dollars but everyone knew it was probably over a million yeah. so um you know I, I think this is uh, great that he has been thinking about alternatives mm -hmm. and another way to you know keep that piece of apparatus that we have over there going yeah, yeah. And, and if you look and if you really look at his spot he probably a plan of what he wants to do you know this is where he stands and he, he could we all of us could get funded and he'd still have 16 and then and then for the next few years from 24 to 27 he's just looking to have his fund his just replenishing. Right. He's not asking for much at all. So. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty good stuff. Yeah, yeah. you know, um, yeah. to consider. Yeah, it does. That yeah. helps a lot because it puts yeah. the quick out past the ambulance at that uh, point. Um, if he if he refurbs it, he's out. What do you say? Seven to ten more years of active duty. So you think he's he's out to like twenty. 30 to 2032, 2032, let's say, mm -hmm. would be would be uh, eight years, right, between the seven and ten. And the new annual would have been two, three years prior to that on the schedule. So it, it actually yeah, it does work out very well. Mm -hmm. Because you could, by the time you got to 2029 at that rate, you, you'd be up with it. would be near mm -hmm. the the uh, cost of the ambulance. Okay. Also, you also have a couple of pumper too. I think it's really important to point out here that he needs to specify though, is he planning to do it next year? 
because or is he looking to put this money in reserve mm. it's not clear from the application and the one of the reasons i say this is otherwise it'll make the accounting really challenging for the money so um he's saying so it's a project yeah. combined with previous year reserve account of fifty nine thousand. So, which, which is which is embedded in this amount right here. So he's looking to do that now. Yes. Okay. So he he really needs to say that he needs to say that this is a request type project. Right. And he uh, kind of does, but it's not really clear. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make a pretty solid bet that next year when you see these requests, there's only gonna be one or two words in here. It's either gonna be project. Or <laughs> 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 or reserve. Or reserve, right. <laughs> right. Oh. Um, yeah, so there's there's that. Um, but he's looking he's looking really good. And Michelle, I think when I'm looking at the rest of this, I think the question is with um, what you asked about uh, this right here. I think I had that in as a placeholder. Okay. And then when the actual uh, came in, and I, I didn't replace it, you know, because all the rest of them are is actually what they're requesting yeah. that year. Yeah, and I think you know it's 328 on their sheet. Yeah. Sure. So, a little bit to think about um certainly if you have any questions uh you know please i i would ask rather than send them to me funnel them through paul and, and then he and then he he'll try and get them to me and i can get out the uh, answers to you as as soon as i can and um and prepare the department heads to as well what your questions are and, and that sort of thing down to um, who we want to meet with right. if there are department heads we want to talk with because we have questions yeah. um, and then what our schedule is to do that and, and to schedule our, our future meetings so um, yeah maybe that's where we start are there department heads that you guys do we have questions for? Well, I think last time we went back and thought about what we wanted to put together our questions. Yeah, yeah, I think we, we do that. I this think we had quite a few. Yeah, exactly. There'll probably be a few this year. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, we did. We have every year. Yeah. 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 And I would think we probably have questions for everyone. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Like yes, but. And do you guys, you know, what we've done in the past, and this is a little bit of a slippery slope with uh, FOAA, but it seemed to work, that you guys just sent me your questions. We didn't discuss them via email, but you guys just sent me your questions, and um, then I just put them all together in one like, package for the department heads so that they knew, you know, what questions we were going, so they wouldn't be blindsided yeah. when they came to the meeting, so they knew what our questions are. You guys want to do it the same way? Yeah, I thought it, I thought it went well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Makes it easy. Um, so okay. So we want to meet with both um, uh, the fire chief and our road commissioner. So I think the next question, and you're going to send your questions to me. I think the next question is schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, everybody brought their calendars. Yeah. Um, 
week we can come up with some potential dates and then what's going to have to happen is Jerry's going to have to get back to Calvin and uh, to the fire chief so mm -hmm. that um, he can figure out when they're available okay but we should come up with some potential dates here Thir Thursday the 8th I'll throw that one out there Thursday the 8th Okay, so if we were able to do that, it's Wednesday. People would have their questions to me, hopefully by the end of the week. I put them together over the weekend, yeah. and I could get them to Jerry early next week to share with with those guys, with the department heads. Jerry, um, now, I know that last year, it's kind of, it's you know, I, I kind of think it's up to you. It'd be wonderful to have you at each of these meetings. Um, at the same time, and I, I know last year I had the same conversation with Kathy, and at the same time, you know, we understand, um, you know, what it takes to be here for night meetings. And so it's kind of in your, you know, the way I see it is it's kind of in your court, whether you feel, you, you know, you need to be here and whether, you know, you want to be here for, for, that, for, for that meeting, for these other meetings. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and the other things that are on your plate. Mm -hmm. So, um, as I said, you know, I I love having you here at meetings. It's wonderful. Um, and um, I and the you know the ability to have this communication back and forth, and also to make sure we're all like on really helps to get us all on the same page. So you know that's great. But at the same time, I totally understand if you're either not available or you're just like swamped with other stuff mm. i appreciate that yeah. um my feeling is that i will be here this okay. is a um and for a couple of reasons being new i i want to know and learn as much as i can through this first year and, and do. but the other part of it too is I have staff here that I want to support, yeah, and that's yeah, important yeah. to me. Yeah, good. Okay, okay. so yeah. I hope that when we do schedule these, that I I can make it, and I can make the eighth. Excellent. So I'm just letting you know, and I will be, okay. I'll be at all of them. Yeah. That's just the way it's going to okay. be this first year. As I get more comfortable, maybe the the my staff can handle it, but that doesn't, what that does, that dismisses the support, and I want to yeah. be here to support my staff. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it, I think this is going to be really good. Absolutely. You get the whole process. What time is the window open on Thursday? They they're open until just about six o'clock. They close at six or six thirty. Okay. Uh, so, so we that's okay. Back. Well, well back. I think we'll be okay. I mean, sometimes it's really not that busy. Okay. I mean, we'll shut the door and we can we can what's going on. So yeah, we, we can make it. We'll make it. Okay. Work. And do um, you have any sense? Have you, have you probably haven't had any discussion with you? With the department heads yet but maybe you could put it out to them so i'm assuming let's go ahead and set um the eighth maybe we come up with one other date yeah yep. just in case you know they're not available uh, i was thinking well, do you want you want to just go with the, yeah. the following week the 15th 14th or the 15th yeah the 15th, so I just I the meetings on the 13th they come out the 15th I can't do the fourteenth easily either. I can do the fifteenth. I cannot do the fifteenth. I can do. I can do the sixth. Uh, if I hit fourteenth uh, Tuesday, uh, I could do the thirteenth. Well, there's a select board meeting on the thirteenth. Uh, um, I could do the twelfth, which is a Monday. 
I don't, and that's the other thing is the town calendar. You know, I don't know about planning board meetings if there are other meetings going. Planning on. board meetings are usually on Wednesday. Uh huh. Is are we sure the calendar? But the, the first the Wednesday, I believe, of the month, like tomorrow, or or well, it's not sure because today's Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're the sixth. Is the sixth on Wednesday? No. They're coming right up on one. I don't know. Tuesday. Maybe it's the seventh. They're coming right up here on a Wednesday to have, What's a, that? To have a meeting. I can't remember what it is. I can't remember what it is. Planning board is, is Wednesday the, the 7th of December. Planning board? Yeah. Um, you go to planning board there? No. Is there any of the department hands typically? No. Calvin, uh, no. 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 Code and code officer. What's that? Code officer would be the only one who would usually go to school. Right. Like but some what I'm getting at is that we could still have our meeting in another location. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We, we could we could yeah. do that with it because we, I mean, we did one meeting one time over at, at Calvin's, remember? Uh huh. We went to the uh, DPW. Yeah, yeah. And we could do it. That's Monday. right. I forgot about that. That's a good point. So, so sure. I mean, we could do it on the 7th if. Uh huh. If you're <coughs> Seven, 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 seven. No, I'm just I'm throwing it out there. Right? Mm -hmm. so, 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 it has another date. Or, or any of the other dates. Seven. Yeah. Um, right. We might be able to do it six. Right. I have uh, my so son. What, 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 why did we get off the eighth again? What well, we're still on the eighth, but we're, we're looking for a second one. We're looking for an alternative. Yeah, we're, yeah, case, yeah. we're looking for a plan B in case. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with the seventh as a plan B. Uh, I'll have to find someone else to take my son to wrestle. Yeah. Uh, it sounded like a door slamming, but I don't know what door we're going on. Anything, Jerry? Mm -hmm. well, I, I, I'm going to tell you, though, I've, I've come in on a couple Saturdays and this weird noise is going to happen in this building. I'm not kidding you, you know, like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, one time I was in my office and, and um, the phone in Devin's office, or Kimberly's office, the voicemail was going off. Just randomly? Randomly. <laughs> That's so funny. Over the speaker, I could hear it in my office. That's I was, I was here with Ruth. I said, Ruth, do you hear that? She says, yeah. She says, there's weird things that happen here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, that, that, and that bang, I heard it. Yeah. It's yeah. Just it's strange. Like the king yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It could be the children of the corn. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> uh, so, seventh is an alternative. About a little bit later, you said. 630. 630. Okay. okay. What, what do you think, Pete? Is that a possibility yep. for you? Yes, I'll turn it. See the so they have a planning board meeting, but do they meet at the Eureka Center? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Off the top of my head. I thought they met here, but they used to. Durham Town Office, six thirty yeah, on the seventh. So, yeah. So we could do ours or work, but I I think the eighth would be preferable yeah. if they're okay with either. Yeah. Go for yeah. the eighth. Yeah, and it, it would be good because hopefully, you know, we'll have a, a 
together next time. So exactly. Because yeah. it, it's important to Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. even we recorded over there. Oh, you do? Okay. Uh, when the planning board did their informational thing on uh, the affordable housing, they record, um, Kimberly, I think, recorded it. Okay. There. So, All right. Um, so, I mean, that's an option if we do something a little more simplistic and it's not like a public forum where she needed speakers all over that. It's like a right. Um, it, it's an option. Is, was the eighth, the, the, you're just doing an eighth in case something doesn't. Eighth is primary, seventh is down. I guess. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we've also broken it up before. One department has one bag, one the other. Seventh would be six thirty. Seventh is six thirty. Yeah, okay. the eighth would be six o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, um, do we want to leave it at that? I think the question is, yeah, I think that makes sense. We will plan. You know, hopefully, we'll wrap things up at that meeting. Um, and to, exactly then we will all go off individually to our readings and rankings mm -hmm. and or our ratings and then give that information to uh, Mich if Michelle is still willing this mm -hmm. year and that's okay with Jerry I don't mm -hmm. know if that's how we've done it in the past it's worked really well mm -hmm. he's done a really nice job with it then um, we give our information to Michelle and she comes back a week or so later with our rankings and at that time we could then get together on our last date right mm -hmm. yes but right before that before, before christmas if we... yeah exactly right before we go away all go away for the holidays yes. go south do we want to try to get that date on the calendar now yeah we're we'll waiting till let's see you want to do a calendar one sure mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah okay take a day we only have the week of the 19th Good, except for Monday. Yeah, me too. Uh -oh. yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> hour ago. My tenant says her window will open and she can't shut it. She's out there. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. She's oh. waiting on me. Oh, it's good it's not too cold out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so if we meet on the 8th, everybody needs the time to do their ranking. So we get it to me. The 20th, Tuesday the 20th, or Thursday the 22nd? That is, I guess, kind of, 22nd is pushing it awfully close to the holiday. Yeah, we'll do the 20th. Yeah, okay. So don't mind. That works for me. Okay, Tuesday. What do you think, Jerry? I like it. Tuesday the 20th. That'll be at 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock. Okay, you could go ahead and put that one on the calendar. Okay. Tuesday yeah. the twentieth, because we've got that one all. We don't need those other guys for that. At six p.m. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay, and so you will talk to the department heads and then let us know. Yes. Well, the meeting is the seventh or the eighth. And I will have. Do you want updated sheets that say uh, reserve or project? Mm -hmm. I, I just won't give those to you. I, I'd like to have you to have them. I think that'd be a good idea, to, and yeah. it's just because you know um, this gets carried forward to the uh, to the budget committee and the selectmen, yep. and so they really you know people will be referencing these applications throughout the process. Yep, and I agree. We got we need to get everybody on the same page. Exactly, it just needs to be accurate. Yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, you know my advice to Calvin would be complete his reserve request because um, you know everybody. This is just the start of the process, but people will be like, selectmen and and uh, budget committee will have questions. So, the hundred thousand that he that he wants in the bank, you want yeah. that tied to something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's what are his plans for the next yeah. five years? Yeah. Why does he need that hundred thousand now? What what yeah. other schedule is it tied to? Yeah, I think it's as simple as that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. What is what is that going to be? If you look on the my replacement schedule, right. you'll we'll see right. that replacement schedule. I'm looking to replace three trucks. Twenty gotcha. twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 And it makes a lot of sense. Uh huh. Yeah. You know it does. It's all coming together. See, these why these meetings are important for the newbie. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It is. I mean, seriously. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 
It really is. You can see how much select board they were making the sauces like this. Right. You know, what size is this? Do you have the clothes? I mean, we do do a lot of that. It's like what they do. When they add this onto it, it becomes a monster. Right. But yeah. To deal with. Yeah. Yeah, certainly that was the intent. It was. Yeah. Was yeah. To, yeah. To, to help out. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's all the same questions you get for all the stuff that when you come for our school at the school right. board meeting, right? It's the same. Yeah. It, but it's just allowed us to do it earlier. Exactly. And right. avoid some of those questions later. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it's great. You know, this committee has been a real pleasure to work with. Uh, it's pretty manageable. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've never had any like bomb throwers or anything. Yeah. <laughs> no. There's no value so, in that. You know, we had some Zoom sessions. It's pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. We, yeah. we have a good time. Yeah. So. It's it's wonderful, and your your U N P are great additions. Oh, thanks. So, yeah. it's, it's wonderful. Let me let me fire to know about yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We could. You know, the other thing is, we did do when we first did this. We did do a tour of the studio because Calvin took us for a tour, showed us his oh, yeah. box. That was really <laughs> that was really interesting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and how yeah. we just welding something together. Common place that yeah. yeah. show. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's convenient. Uh, yeah, out of that street, and, uh, and the chief at the time gave us a we we, we had a tour and made a fight about it. We can still do that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The feel for what I think the last time I was in the fire station, there was several less bays on it, and I was about that tall. So yeah, it's, been yeah. a, it's been a bit. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, do you want to make a motion to yes. adjourn? Yes. Well, uh, yeah, we'll ask for a motion. Motion to adjourn? Sure. I'll make, we'll go ahead. No, I'll make a motion. Okay, I'll second. <laughs> All those in favor? Uh,